Welcome Capricorns. I'm back with another video. We're going to jump into it. This is the energy from now um, through the month of February. So right now it is January the 27th. So from now until um, mid-February, you can utilize this video. a message for the Capricorn please this is a general read so it may or may not resonate if it happens to resonate with you all the better be sure to hit the like button and share with your family and your friends as well all right so let's see what's going on with the Capricorn okay well we got the five of cups that wanted to jump out Ooh, interesting. Y'all may have some stalkers. It looks like y'all may have a stalker or some stalkers. We got the Five of Cups, the King of Cups, Justice, Judgment, High Priestess, and the Three of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Two of Cups, and the Two of Swords. There is definitely a decision that you regret making. You are definitely regretting some type of situation. It could be have something to do with work. This could be work related. We got the three of pentacles as well as the eight of pentacles here. You could regret collabing with someone, but I see you being feeling like you're at a fork in the road. Okay, you may want to get some type of justice in this situation, but I feel like you intuitively felt like, you know what, I may regret this decision later. But I feel like some of y'all went ahead and took the leap of faith, um, and now you're kind of feeling a little bad or feeling kind of regretful. This decision was a final decision because we got the judgment here. This could be you awakening and realizing that a decision that you made, now you're trying to balance this out. Whoever you are dealing with or whatever the situation is, um, it could be a little bit of confusion going on, an illusion as well with that Seven of Cups here. I feel like it could either be a partnership or a, a relationship because we got the Two of Cups here. But I do see the Three of Pentacles could be you collabing with someone um, but you're just kind of uncertain about it. You're uncertain about it with this two of swords here as the outcome. Um, let's see. I'm going to uh, clarify using this deck. Let's see. Let's get some clarifiers for the Capricorn, for the goats. All right, let's see. You could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or a Libra. But there's lots of water here. So I, I feel like this is uh, could be like an emotional time for you, like you're dealing with your emotions. I got Pisces or Cancer for sure here with this high priestess energy. I see you being, um, I see you being patient. Like you're waiting for some type of change to happen. You're waiting for some something to shift, the energy to shift. This could be involving work, okay? Maybe there is, some of you may have started a business with the Fool and the Three of Pentacles and the Emperor here. This is very much so giving me, um, you know, someone starting a business building it from the ground up and becoming this boss okay um i feel like you've been waiting for things to go more in your favor 
Um, so let's get into it. Let's dive into it. I want to see why justice is here. Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is also balancing up the scales. This is like a give and take. And this is the type of partnership, see, with the Two of Cups here. Okay, maybe you thought that this connection um, or this, this partnership was supposed to be equal. But maybe it's not. You're realizing that it's not. The Death and... The judgment here. I feel like it's more stressful than anything. Nine of Swords. And I feel like you either already walked away or you want to walk away. I feel like you love. I feel like, okay, with this Queen of Pentacles, this could be your energy. I feel like you're, you have goals, a goal or goals in mind that you want to attain. Um, and I feel like you love... We got the sun here. You could be dealing with the Leo, but I feel like you in, are enjoying, um, you're having fun, just, uh, you know, as far as the money side goes, I feel like it's not an issue with money. I feel like it's an issue with a person per se. I feel like you love the attention. You love being recognized. Um, I feel like this connection could be bringing you some sort of attention, but I feel like... You feel stuck sometimes. Maybe you feel like this person is trying to trap you in some way, shape, or form. Okay, so maybe you listen to some type of advice from someone and you're regretting it. Because, see, we got the Ace of Swords and the hermit so this is gathering information maybe you got some information from a libra okay or a court system this could have been taken to the courts um this could have something to do with legal i feel like you were waiting for uh some type of answers or waiting to hear from somebody but i feel like you you took some advice that's what this is you got some advice um and i feel like you're kind of regretting listening to that advice you're regretting listening to this, to taking that advice. Now, the Five of Cups is here. Yeah, the Ten of Swords. Yep, see, the Fool is here at the bottom of the deck. You took a risk. You took some type of leap of faith, um, and you feel like, damn, you got the Ten of Swords right here. It's like... You're confused on what's next, what's coming next, what's next. Maybe you feel like you should have waited um, to make some type of decision. Yeah, look at this, Nine of Swords. This situation is stressful. Okay, so you're trying to find a balance, trying to gain a balance. This could be dealing with a Leo with the strength card here. Um, what's the King of Cups here? Knight of Cups. Okay. You're offering the challenge is offering your emotions to someone. Offering your emotions, telling how you feel. You feel like you'll regret it. Um why is the Knight of Cups here? Tell me more about this Knight of Cups. The Ten of Wands. Maybe it's too much is being said. I feel like the challenge is you offering your emotions to this person. I feel like you don't really care to do that. Okay, like the strength card keeps wanting to reveal itself here. We got the strength, the ace of pentacles, and the five of pentacles. You may have uh, just got out of, you know, a financial hiccup with the five of pentacles and the ace of pentacles here. Okay, um, your confidence level, you may be working on your boosting your self-esteem, your confidence level, trying to get your confidence level back up because I feel like 
you, your challenge being, you know, expressing yourself. I feel like this is what this is. You expressing yourself is challenging to you. Okay. And I feel like you're trying. Let's see. Here's that five of cups again. And you're having some type of regrets with the queen of cups, queen of swords. I feel like you took some type of advice, Seven of Swords. You possibly took some type of advice from a Queen of Swords. And this Queen of Swords is very... This Queen of Swords is very um, no-nonsense, okay? This Queen of Swords is more of the straight to the point look we don't got time for all these feelings these emotions let's think of this logically i think you may have took some advice i feel like you chose to use logics over emotions um and it was i feel like with this knight of swords you may have made it had to make a decision a real quick decision okay you had to make a decision really really quick and see we got the devil here which is your energy as well as the moon Okay, so this is something you may have been trying to hide these emotions. You have to feel like you have to mask yourself um, from how you truly feel about a situation. I just feel like you guys are having, you know, are looking like, dang, you know, maybe I should have handled this a little differently. Tell me why the Five of Cups is here. regret a connection okay this could have been somebody that you could have been married to someone who you were in a long-term relationship with someone that you had a commitment with um i feel like you're regretting you're having regret yes this the cards are just flying out we got the four of swords you are on a break period from this person I see you saying you're you're I see you looking back at a situation from the past. Okay, so we got the star card here. It could be done with an Aquarius, but this is symbolizing hope and healing energy. But I'm feeling like you're hoping that someone comes towards you. Um I feel I see you spying on somebody here. You're, you're watching them, you're kind of like um wanting to speak to them, wanting wanting to communicate with them, reach out to them, them reach out to you. Maybe you aren't sure exactly what it is that you want to say to this person, but you're not sure um, how this person feels. You're not sure how they'll feel if you were to reach out. But I do feel see you being a little disappointed um, in regards to this connection from the past, okay? And this is a connection from the past, okay? With that two of cups, it's the connection from the past that's on your mind. And I feel like there was a breakup. There was a breakup with that three of swords here. Okay. Um, but maybe you had to do that because you had to manifest something different. You had to manifest um, to fully be in your king of pentacles energy. Some of y'all had to go make some money, had to go do something big. You had to make some type of sacrifice in order to get where you are now. Because I did see that you guys could have been in a financial hiccup months prior to this. I see you plan on taking action, um, but it'll be out of the blue. And I feel like things ended abruptly between you and this person that you were dealing with in the past. Now, the high priestess is here in the past energy. Seven of Pentacles. I told you, I feel like you are thinking like you should have waited for some reason. And I can, this energy has been on you guys heavy because I think this is what you guys' energy last month. Lots of waiting energy. Lots of waiting on communication. Spying on this person. You could be watching this person, keeping an eye on this person. But your intuition was telling you, yep, to wait. Because I feel like you moved really hasty. You made a really hasty move. It was real abrupt. It was out of anger. It was out of frustration. Um, and maybe it was done on, you know, kind of like on purpose. With that six of wands here, this is for attention. 
I feel like it was a real hasty, real hasty decision. And it was fully, I think it was fully out. It, it came from a place of, you know, upset, being upset and frustrated. Now, the Three of Pentacles is here for future energy. Tell me why the Three of Pentacles is here, please. The Nine of Cups. I see you wanting them to collab. But I feel like some of y'all are stuck in a connection that maybe you don't really want to be in. You feel like you're stuck in, in this connection, possibly for the money. I see um, somebody being strict, restricted. I'm hearing that. Restricted. With the Queen of Swords here. Queen of Cups and a Hierophant. I'm getting like y'all may feel restricted. Why is the Nine of Cups here? The devil, yeah. This is you guys' energy. I feel like you want to collab. Um, you want to work together. You want to build something. I see you... Uh, I see you uh, waiting on some type of signal or sign... Okay, if this person was to give you any type of signal, sign, or anything of saying that they are interested and they want to build with you and work with you, I feel like you you would leave this connection that you're currently in. Mine's the double here. King of Wands. Ooh. Very intimate type of energy, sexual type of energy. I feel like... I feel like you you definitely um, want to work towards something, want to put some action in, um, want to build. Yeah, the high priestess. You knew, you knew, you knew, you knew. You, you're watching. Oh, you're definitely watching. It. You're keeping your eye on this person. Um, but you don't want, okay, ten of swords. Hermit, strength, judgment. You could be dealing with the fire sign currently, either um, a Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius. Sagittarius is energy right here. You're keeping an eye on this person from your past, but you don't want the person that you're dealing with currently right now to figure this out. Definitely spying. Definitely spying. Page of Swords, Moon, Two of Pentacles. This is you keeping your eye on this person from the past. You know, just kind of like keeping an eye on it. This is a connection from the past that you ended up... Um, some things didn't go as planned. I feel like something happened abruptly. And this connection that you're in now is blocking you from returning to this individual. That's how you could be feeling. Your intuition is telling you that this person from the past is trying to give, just trying to get you to pay attention. I feel like maybe you're kind of like keeping an eye on them, um, and they may be showing you type these type of signs and and things that make you feel like they're trying to get your attention. I feel like this is someone that you could have dealt with. For a very long time. Um, maybe even when you were younger. I got some like that type of puppy love type of energy. But this is the Knight of Pentacles. This is something that stood the test of time. Um, 
the Knight of Pentacles is very slow moving energy, but when he comes with this offer, this offer is very solid. You feel like this person is trying to get your attention. You feel it. You you could you could just feel it. Like they're trying to get your attention. But you could be currently in a situation or they're currently in a situation. I feel like when you made this move, you didn't, at first, you didn't feel like you were going to regret the decision or even have a second thought about it. You just went ahead and took that leap of faith. Um, but it seemed like now it's kind of like you're like, mm, I'm kind of tired of, you know, thinking about this person or whatever the case may be. Now, the person that you are dealing with, they're in Seven of Cups energy. I'm getting like confused. Somebody, this person over here, somebody feels like you should hold back your uh, emotions, hold back how you feel. Um, I keep getting uh, Libra. I keep picking up on the Libra energy, a Libra woman here. It's feeling like you don't have a choice. Like I'm getting like somebody is restricting you from returning back to someone that you miss someone that you think that you're thinking about but i'm getting it's like a it's like you're restricted okay yes see i'm getting could be a family member somebody could have made you um we got the magician made you break up with this person this person um could be a queen of cups Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. I feel like you was with this person. You was in a relationship with this person for a while. Because I got the Two of Cups here. And this was a final decision. This decision, you felt like this decision had to be made. Um, and I feel like for a lot of you, you have to suppress. You have to suppress how you feel with the Four of Pentacles and the King of Cups. Somebody over here is feeling like you don't have a choice with the Death Card and the Seven of Cups. It's like they're saying, look, you don't have a choice. It's not up for debate. The Hermit could be a Virgo. Yeah, somebody. Ooh. Now we got the Five of Swords. This person could be super duper insecure. This person could be real jealous. Yeah, this person got issues. This person petty. Real tit for tat. I feel like with the Queen of Pentacles and the Empress, this is definitely a, fe a feminine energy over here. Um, I feel like could be a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn, or a Libra, um, or a Taurus. But this person is jealous because someone is very beautiful. Someone is very uh, abundant. Um, and they are spying. They're spying for sure, for sure. They're spying. Hmm. The justice card again. I feel like some of y'all is a Libra. Tell me more about this justice card. This could be a karmic. Some of y'all are dealing with a karmic. The fool. Wow. The empress. This person is a karmic.
Now the two of cups is here in the two of cups is here in the hopes and fears. Yeah, I told you eight of cups. You want to walk away from this connection. You want to leave this connection and be single or spend time with yourself, focus on yourself. That's why you're at a crossroad right here. With this two of swords as the outcome, you're at a crossroad. Seven of swords. I'm mean, seven of wands. You're not sure how to stand up for yourself. I feel like there's a lot of lies. Look at this. There's, there's a lot of masking going on here. There's a lot of hidden truths. There's a lot of lies. There's a lot of trickery, manipulation. You're not sure how to um, handle the situation. You're not even sure how to handle this situation. Could be involving a Leo. But yes, I feel like I keep seeing no choice. Somebody could have got betrayed. But you just feel like you're in a position where you don't have a choice. I'm hearing didn't have a job at the time or wasn't working at the time or funds were low at the time. Wow. So someone could have, um, tell me why the sun is here. Ace of Cups. Yeah, you feel like you should say something to this fire sign. I'm getting fire sign. Leo, definitely. Um, something is sexual. Something is strictly sexual. Um, and it wasn't supposed to go any further. I feel like um, when you felt when you're discussing your past, okay. I feel like there was this person could be competing with your person from the past. With this five of wands and the six of cups, this person is competing with your person from the past because they want this connection, okay. And look at this: the three of cups and the five of swords. This is somebody who will do whatever they got to do to get whatever it is that they want. Okay, they'll knock whoever they need to knock over, cuss whoever who they need to cuss out, anything to, this is a very much so jealous energy. You're dealing with somebody who is jealous, okay? They're jealous of whoever you're dealing or you're, you were dealing with in the past. Like I said, you feel like you don't have a choice with the Ten of Swords and the Seven of Cups. Um, and I find that kind of strange because... Capricorns normally, you guys read and always talk about how y'all have so many options. But I feel like you don't like the way someone thinks. Um, somebody is uh, asking for, for something just because you guys maybe, you know, have gotten closer. I feel like you... Oh, something that something's not going to work this time. I'm hearing someone say that that ain't going to work this time. It happened before, but it ain't going to work like that this time. Somebody wants the moon and the stars, but they keep getting lied to or cheated on. Um, and somebody doesn't just somebody doesn't feel the love anymore. Somebody is just not. Feel, I feel like y'all not feeling feeling this person anymore. I feel like true colors are being shown.
Yeah, I feel like you feel like somebody's trying to get your attention, trying to get your attention, and you know it. You know it. You like, yeah, I know you. I see you trying to get my attention. I see you. <laughs> I see it. But I feel like. There's this connection. You want to walk away from it. With the Eight of Cups. You want to walk away from this connection. There's just something about it. I don't feel like you're, you're, you're into it anymore. It may have worked for you at a at a moment's time like before but it's like it's not working for you right now it's like yeah it's not it's not working for me right now. <laughs> it's not working for me right now all right so that's the message that i have for capricorns if this message resonated guys be sure to hit the thumbs up as well comment in the comment section below and i'm gonna chat with y'all later ciao